he limps in with the seven eight of diamonds. I mean, people like to see a flop of that hand. That's a pretty good hand in this position. Hennigan calls 6,000. Now, Hennigan sitting right behind him also calls on the button with the king four of diamonds. Scotty folds in the small blind. And Gus knocks the table. So we're going to have three-way action here. And look at this. All three players have diamonds. And two diamonds come <laughs> on the flop. Hanson checks. That's eight diamonds out right now. Yeah, but they don't know that. I'll tell you, it's going to be interesting. Some fireworks could develop here. Yuwanda checks. And here comes Hennigan. John bets 12,000. 12,000 on the button. Oh. Wow. Gus calls. Hanson is a flush draw, so he calls a 12,000. And now it's going to be interesting. Everybody has a flush draw. John Yuwanda, who has a straight flush draw, ironically has the worst hand with just an eight high flush draw. Both of them haven't beat. It's going to be interesting to see what Yuwanda does here. Yuwanda raises. He raises it up to 44,000. He has a straight draw. He thinks he could win with a flush. And he's trying to say to them, you probably don't have a jack, but you may now think that I have a jack. Even though you have a flush draw here, you're scared of a jack. So a flush draw is not that great of a thing because of the pair of jacks out there. It's going to be interesting to see what Hennigan does here. He's got a short stack, so look at the look on Hennigan's face here. All in. John Hennigan goes all in. He moves all in here for $137,000. Gus throws his flush draw away, and now he's put the test over here on John Yuwanda here. Now, Yuwanda has a straight flush draw, but he knows he has the worst hand at this moment. Now, the question is, does he want to call another 100000 or so with his straight flush draw? Sure he does. Because he has a straight draw, he has a flush draw. He thinks Hennigan raised before the flop. He thinks maybe he had a big pair. Well, there's about 230000 in the pot already, so it's going to cost him nearly 100000 more to call. He does call. Look at this. He does call with a straight flush draw. He knows he's got to hit something to get out. Hennigan turns up the king four diamonds, and John Yuanda does not like to see that, I can assure you. And look at this. A diamond comes oh, on the amazing. turn. John Hennigan makes a king high flush. John Yuan needs a ten of diamonds. Now, in this case, he doesn't know it, but he's drawing dead. It looks like he needs a ten of diamonds to win the pot. But we knew that Gus Hansen had the ten of diamonds, so he was actually drawing dead in this hand. We're giving away $50 to the first 100 people that use bonus code YT76. Go to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT76. Hennigan limps in. With the queen nine of diamonds for 20,000. Gus Hansen calls the 20,000. Deeb calls 10 more thousand. And look at this. We got a four way pot out of five players. Here comes the flop. Nine, seven, four with oh, two spades. Man. We're going to see some fireworks here. You can buckle up here on this flop. Two players have flopped two pair each. Chris thinking that he has the better. He says sevens and fours. Not as good as Gus Hansen with nines and sevens. $45,000 bet by John Hennigan. Now, Gus Hansen, who's flopped the top two pair here, is certainly going to play this pot. Now, look at Bigler, on the other hand. We know Bigler's flopped two pair. He's watching this action intently because he knows he's going to play this hand, too. Gus just calls. Gus folds. Gus just calls the 45,000. Bigler's going to make a play here. There's no way that he can throw this hand away. Gus did a little Marlon Brando there. He's just playing. It's so cool. Look at him. Now, this is an amazing hand here for Chris Bigler. What do you do? You have two it's pair on the flop. Getting his chips is like pulling hen's teeth. What's and all of a sudden, in the big blind, he's got trap with a hand. I don't see how he's going to get away from it. Here he goes. Look. All in. He's moved all in over the top of the raise and the collar. I call. John Hennigan calls. Whoa. That's kind of surprising. Look at this. John Hennigan's calling is about 250000 And now look at Gus. Gus rocks back in his chair. Gus is not just thinking about Chris Bigley. He's thinking about how he's going to suck John Hennigan after with the side pot, perhaps. Well, he can't play around now. They've just put a half a million dollars in the pot. I don't see how he can just call this. If a guy's got a flush draw, you can't let him draw for nothing. I mean, the only way he can get beat is somebody's got a set. I mean, Gus is going to play this hand. 200 and some thousand dollar raise by Bigler. Hennigan calls him. It's up to Gus. And look at Gus. He keeps glancing over. I'm all in. He yes. goes all in. He's moved over the top of both of them. Look at this hand. This is the time to do that. Whoa. And now Hennigan, with his queen nine, all of a sudden it's shrunk up to oblivion. He's mucked his hand. He put in 250000 there with his queen nine of diamonds. He's not happy about the way this hand was developed. Turn him up, please, gentlemen. 
And look at this hand. Let's look at Bigler's face. He's not going to like this. Gus has nine, it's seven flops, top two pair. Chris has seven floor, has bottom two pair. He's got to catch a four to stay alive in this tournament. There's nothing Chris could do about this. He needs a four. A deuce comes off. He's dead to a two outer, or he's going to be our fifth place finisher. A six comes off. Gus wins the pot. We're giving away $50 to the first 100 people that use bonus code YT76. Go to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT76. And now Scotty in the big bind, who's on tilt. He's got a jack 10. Scotty calls. Wow, he calls this hand. I'm surprised he's only got 90 some thousand. He calls 25,000 more. Scott is just looking to make a hand and try to double up and stay alive and get back in the hunt here. Flop comes Jack. King, Trey, offsuit. Deeb has two kings and Scotty has two jacks. Improved both players. This is very interesting. I check. Scotty checks and Deeb, who has the top pair with two kings. Can I see him bet 60,000? He's bet, so he's going to set Scotty all in if Scotty plays. He's going to have to help this hand or he's going to be out of the tournament. Now, Scotty, you're going to put him on a king or bluff or he might have the best hand. I mean, Scotty feels a little desperate now. He's short on chips. I think he's got to make a stand. And look at Kasim. After Scotty's taking all this time, uh, Kasim wants him to call here, I believe, for sure. Scotty's sort of desperate right now. He, you know, things haven't gone his way. He's got to do something. He's got to try to double up to get back in the hunt. And here comes Scotty. He's calling. He's going all in. Scotty raises all in. 69,000 total. Now, Scotty has a jack 10, and Kasim has king four. So what that means is Scotty is about a five to one underdog at this point to win this pot. Kasim's got the best hand with the kings. Scotty's got jacks. Kasim is a big favorite to win this pot with his two kings. Scotty's going to have to get very lucky to outdraw him to stay alive in this tournament. Ten on the turn. Oh, and a ten oh. comes on the turn. Look. Scotty makes two pair. Now Scotty's got the lead. Now Kasim has got to catch a king, a three or a four. River cards a six. He doesn't do it. Scotty stays alive and doubles up. Scotty has come from behind in this pot. He has outdrawn Kasim Deeb. He's doubled up, and this is going to give him a little confidence, a little boost. 